Bear, spare, strike. Golden Jackal for EJ Tackett. That one came back nicely for Tackett as he strikes here in the fourth. And here he is in Arlington, continuing and looking for another title. Turkey! All right. 550 RPMs and almost 20 miles an hour, and that's approaching the two-handed style. Commentary from Stu. Isn't it nice? It's nice just to be quiet and listen to him. Chance. Transfer that technique to bowling. Hence the lack of the follow through, long bowling, like bocce, if you will. Yeah. Was, the other thing that Stu does is he creates great ball roll. He's got great hand at the bottom and plenty of rev rate. One pin game. Three frames to go. You see his location at the arrows right here. He's been pretty good pretty much all day. Yeah. Back on the strike train. Well, that was just filthy. Well, you know, I, I got to be honest, uh, that, that solid seven that he left in frame number eight was uh, ridiculous in terms of bad breaks. So he just tripped the nine out there, only leaving the four, and I think he kind of deserves that. A spare here, he wins. To the final goes EJ. That, that break, hopefully that's going to change in the future. The bowling community certainly trying to make that happen. First strike. Trip 4-9. Throwing it righty, but it's being read as a lefty. Yeah, correct. Is that not redunculous or what? I mean, it's crazy. Tack it down again using the WBT current frame scoring system. A strike here would give him 30, and that's what he's got, and he's got the lead back. EJ Tackett made a ball change for this title match, and EJ Tackett finished second in that event. But honestly, say I've seen it all. But he's got to be thinking, okay, if I don't strike on this ball, I have zero chance. That's how you finish, kid. Make him show up. 232, yeah. Make him show up. Pretty Make impressive. After all he's endured in this championship match, it's Tackett who controls his own destiny, steps up in the tent. A strike for the win. He's done it! Not surprising. Former player of the year and runner-up back-to-back years for that honor. A great match came down to the 10th frame, EJ Tackett. Thank you guys. Puts a nice Thank touch so in the 10th and carries all 10. This is awesome. He won the opening match by one pin. And now he's won the championship match by a solitary pin as well. Here it is, the final shot in the tent for the win. One of the best ever at getting the ball out of his hand. You see that release throwing the ball down into the floor. And Anthony Simonson can only sit and watch.
Well, Anthony did his part in the 10th to make it tight. Here's the winner with Kimberly. AJ, it all came down to that 10th frame. Walk me through your process when you walked up to the foul line there. Um, it's plain and simple. You know, you got to knock down 10 or you lose. Um, with this, the scoring format, you know, you have one chance and one shot. Luckily, I, I threw a good shot. It didn't, it didn't go dead flush, but they all fell down. That's the most important part. What did you think about Anthony throwing the backup ball like that? Um, he's, he's very unique. He's done it before. He actually won a title last year um, doing that. And um, I'm sure something we'll see out of him more, but I don't think there's anybody else on tour that can do it as effective as he can. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Well, you had a solid game and you earned this. Thank Congratulations, EJ.